everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm doing something a little bit different I'm going to show you how to build a cup turner um, now I only recently got into making glitter tumbler cups like this one right here um, probably a couple weeks ago and I am NOT an expert I'm not a pro I watched a video on mute while in a car and just kind of watched what the lady was doing and said, oh, I could probably do that. So I gave it a whirl and so far so good. It turned out pretty well. So this video is actually for um, any of the newbies that are out there that's never done this before but would like to try to do it. If I can do it, you can do it. It's very simple. But I just wanted to show you um, this one I purchased on Amazon and I will put a link in the description to the starter kit for this particular brand. Um, it's nice. It's quiet. Um, it comes with a lot of stuff. You get um, two of these measuring cups that are silicone so you can pop out the epoxy out of them. Um, you get these little measuring cups right here, which are kind of cute. You get a couple of um, medicine measuring cups. You get two of these little thingies. Oops. You get three of these silicone brushes, which are freaking awesome but you find that you're going to probably use your fingers a little bit more often so they also include some gloves and includes the little handy dandy football right here um, and one of these and some tape so that's what comes in a kit and the kit is around forty dollars and which is a great investment if you've never done this before and you just want to try it and probably not going to do this all the time but um, I find myself that I'm probably going to be doing this all the time because my mom got one, my dad got one, I have another one that's supposed to be, I need to make for another customer, and I have a couple people asking about it. So I find that I need more turners. So I thought, hey, why not build your own? I am a woodworker by, um, so just make your own. So I purchased a kit through Amazon that was just the motor attachment not the wood pieces and so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build this tumbler or this excuse me this turner right here but you know of course my version so um, stay tuned um, I'll go over the turner package or the motor package that I got in the mail and I'll also put that in the link below that way, if you want to build it and then just save some money and you um, and make the turner the, the turner itself, this will help you out. And again, if you're like me, you wanted the starter kit, but then you need an extra turner. So while one is drying, you can work on another one. This is actually a great way to do it and saves you a lot of money because I got the additional two motors for like twenty dollars. So stay tuned, and I'll show you I'll show you the kit. All right. Okay, hey everyone, so here is my um, order that I got from Amazon yesterday. This comes with two motors to do your, your cup turners, um, for you to build your cup turner. And um, so we're going to go over what came in that. Again, I want to say this is about $21. Again, the link will be in the description below if you would like to just buy the motor kit itself and build your, um, your tumbler stands. Um, if you're crafting, if you want to just give it a try, why not? Let's do it. Um, or you can buy the, st the starter kit, which again, the link will be in the description. But today I decided to build my very own because I have a lot of wood just sitting around the house. Now, I did make my kit, my tumbler stand out of 1x4s, which is actually 1x3.5 because I don't know why they call them 1x4s, even though they're 1 and 3.5. And they're not even 1 inch either, so... So I use like, they're called 1x4s, and they're pretty sturdy. Uh, you can get them pretty cheaply at your local hardware or Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, so this one's kind of tiny, or you can use like a 1x5 or something like this, which is a 1x6. Again, I don't know why I call it a 1x6, because they're not 1 inches, but, and this is five and a half inches but anyways so you can use something like this to give you a little bit more of a sturdy base if you want but i'm using these new turners as just kind of like something i could put down put it aside and while my tumbler is trying to dry 
So, and I'm not really going to use this because it's kind of, it won't be as sturdy, but, you know, it works. So, all right, let's go over the kit. Okay, so inside, uh, first of all, you can see these two things. These are, um, this is like the little football that I showed you earlier, but these, it's pretty much like a select a size. So, if you have a, a tumbler that has a, a smaller hole, you can cut this to size so it could fit that tumbler. Or if you have a tumbler that's like really super thick, um, then you can layer this and make it even thicker. So it's pretty nice. I think it's like a self, uh, an adhesive backing to it. So I've never used this before, so I don't know if it, once it's stick, it's done, you can't do anything or change it. Um, but um, it comes with these two things. Um, it comes with the two shafts. So these two PVC pipes, um, these are, let's see, these are not in English, so I can't tell you what size they are, but they're probably like half inch pipes, PVC pipes. Um, it comes with the little attachment where you put the pipe in and then you put it on the motor. So this is the motor. It comes with two of them, of course, so two motors. So once this is attached to your your tumbler um, stand that you're building, you would put this on and then you put that in and this will turn. Okay, so it comes with two of those. So two PVC pipes, two PVC pipe holders, two motors, and then two, two cords, um, electrical cords and with little starts and stops. So again, you're going to have to do some wiring, which is pretty simple, pretty self -explanatory. This thing does not come with instructions, but I'm sure if you go on Amazon and look at the link, it'll probably tell you how to, how to put it together, but it's pretty self-explanatory if you just look at it. So it comes with uh, connectors right here. So um, I'll go ahead and open one up. So you go put one, what? Put one in one end. Ooh, let's see. Okay, yeah. You put one in one end, like this, and put the other in the other end, like this, and then do the same thing on the other side, and you, then you have a connection. So I did this kind of crappy, so it doesn't look good, but yeah. So pretty easy to um, to attach the the power cord to the motor, which is really nice. Um, again, it comes with a little Allen wrench and then the little screws to mount your motor to your your wood pieces. So that's pretty much the kit. Very simple. Um, Again, no instructions. It, it does not come with instructions, but there probably are, will be something um, on the Amazon link, which is in the description below. And so that's your kit. And two tumblers for twenty bucks, or you can get you can buy one tumbler for twenty dollars at the cheapest. But they range um, from so many different prices. So depending on your level of expertise which mine is nil, so I went cheap, but it'll work because I'm not planning on doing this for a career. This is just for fun, and this is for making things for family members and friends and whoever who asks for one. So stay tuned. I will show you how um, to build the stand out of 1x4s, and then at the end of the video, I will show you how to attach the motor to your stand, and we'll cross our fingers to see if it works. So stay tuned. Thanks.
right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that simple build. Um, here is the final result. Um, just spray painted it black because black goes with everything. So, but yeah, here it is. It's very similar to um, the one that I purchased because, I mean, that's just such a simple design. Very simple to make and it's functional, so it works. So here it is. Um, it has the, the holes are large enough for the PVC pipe to fit through and turn. So that's good and it still holds it um, securely. So that's really nice. So now what we're gonna do is, pardon all the sawdust, but what we're gonna do now is um, put the motor onto this base and see if it works. So let's go, let's go for it. So I got a motor. Put all this over here. I don't need that right now. And then I got the power cord. I got my turner and my nuts and bolts. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get this going, shall we? Ooh, I have no clue what these are for. We are about to find out. We're about to find out together. Okay, so I guess we need to make sure where this is gonna go. And I'm guessing we're gonna wanna keep it as center as possible. So let's go ahead and Oh, that's going to be difficult. All right, so. All right. So there's a hole where the screw is supposed to go. And I'm guessing it's these things. These little black things. I don't know if you can see them. So how are we gonna get, okay, well, we'll do it this way, okay. All right, what I'm doing is lining up the hole on the um, PVC to pipe attachment to the hole that's on the, the motor itself. I'm taking the little Allen wrench that they provided I'm gonna go ahead and see if this works. Oh, and now I know why they gave you a couple of these because these suckers move. All right, so again, let me go ahead and, oops, all right. All right, so I've not tried this before. I did not do a test run to see if it's gonna work, so you are experiencing this live with me for the first time. All right, so that worked. Okay, so it is now on there, so that's going nowhere. So now what we need to do is, let's go ahead and put the PVC pipe on to make sure that this thing is centered and that it will spin freely and not have any anything uh, just preventing it from moving. Okay. All right, so that's still loose. That's still moving around. That's good. Okay. So I'm guessing maybe that's too tall. Okay. All right, so I'm guessing right there looks pretty good. So um, again, when you make yours, I mean, it's pretty much a guessing game unless you're a pro and you know, or you just happen to be lucky. I, myself, am not a pro. 
and I'm not that lucky, but um, I don't know if you can see, but I, what I wanted to do was have the hole like pretty much in the center and covered by this motor, but it didn't work out that way because I don't know, but if I move it up, then that's going to cause this thing to be low, to be too low. So let's see. Okay. So I'm going to go right there. All right. Okay. So the best way to do this is just hold on to it. Um, hopefully you have a screwdriver. Um, if you have an elect, um, battery operated screwdriver that's really good that has a magnetic tip it'll hold your your screw in place and then we're gonna go ahead and attach the see that's good so we're gonna go ahead and attach the motor to the base hopefully I'm not tightening it all the way just so I can have um, be able to adjust it. So that's one. All right. Now I'm going to go for the opposite corner. Okay. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do two screws right now just so I can make sure that this actually works. And once everything is working, then I will go ahead and finish screwing it in and it'll be done. So let's go ahead and get the power cord going. I mean, this is a really, really simple setup. Um, it's not hard at all. It's just, you know, make sure that your, your PVC pipe can move freely in your base and that then you attach the motor to the base and then go ahead and attach um, the power to the or to the huh, the wires together okay. I'm having a brain fart I can't even think what these things are called so okay so I was looking at this and you pretty much just Push them in as far as you can. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah. Okay. So there's those two sides. They're in there. They're, pretty, they're in there securely. That's good. Yeah, let's go ahead with... And it's not like where most cords that you're putting together is like blue goes to blue or blue goes to blue or red. You know how they have like these co uh, color combinations that you actually have to match up to make sure that it works. I think this one is pretty much foolproof. Uh, you just put them in and give it a whirl. That's pretty much it. So I... I'm trying to, there you go. I'm trying to get all the fiber or the, um, the wire inside of this clip so I can make sure, so nothing's hanging out. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of fearful that, you know, something can, you know, cause a fire, start a fire or spark or do something, but all right. So there you go. So the motor is now attached to the power cord. So we are going to grab the other end and let's see if it works. Um, wish me luck. All right, here we go. All right, so now it's plugged in. All right. Crush fingers. <gasps> there you go. I don't know if you can see it, but
but it is moving and it actually is very quiet so let's go ahead and see if you can I don't know if the paint camera can pick this up but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off put my bow football on it and see and you can see if it's moving look at that Ta-da! all right so this is how you make your very own cup tumbler or cup turner um, with some scrap wood that you have lying around your house or if your husband has it or if you have it or whatever or you can just go buy one board at Lowe's or Home Depot cost you a couple dollars less than two and um, you really don't need power tools to make this. You can have a handsaw, it'll take a little bit longer, but um, if you have a power tool, you can do that. If not, you can use just a regular handsaw and um, try to make your cuts as straight as possible. And yeah, so this is one of the motors from that um, Amazon purchase. And so as of, Technically, this thing cost me ten dollars, and if you with both motors, twenty bucks, which is not bad. So here you go. This is how you make and install your own um, cup tumbler. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, come back for more. Maybe I'll do a demonstration on how to actually make a glitter cup or whatever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is just a quick little thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching and please like the video, leave a comment if you'd like, ask, ask any questions if you'd like, um, watch other videos if you're interested and subscribe and share if you know someone who would like to know how to do some basic DIY art stuff. Um, thank you for being here. You guys have a great day. Bye.